Hey guys, welcome back to my page, it's Cactus Uncle. Today I'm going to go over teaching you guys how to propagate or clone your totem pole cactus. We will be going from this, and then we're going to get you to where you've got something like this. Nice, healthy, rooted clone of your bigger totem pole cactus. These, you can plant them in another pot, share them with friends, put them in the yard. I'm also going to teach you guys a cool hack and what these crazy things are and how they're going to help you propagate. Alright guys, so let's get started here. So totem pole cactus are columnar branching cactus. So they grow these branches out of the main column and um, as they get bigger and bigger they can get 10, maybe 12 feet tall. They're, they're pretty large plants. You want to take a, just a nice sharp tree saw, limb saw, get as nice of a cut as you can. So a nice clean cut, smooth, no like jagged edges, and don't just like snap them off. I've seen people do that, that's never great. So this one is ready to be dried out. You don't want to plant them when they're all um, wet like that. So you let them sit out for just a few days and you'll end up with this. So in Phoenix, it's really dry. So I let them sit out for three, four days. But if you live somewhere colder or less dry, you might have to do a week or something. This is what a callus cutting looks like. At that point, it is ready to be planted. Roots will come out of that callus at the bottom of the plant. I'll demonstrate real quick how to plant them. I know this is pretty self-explanatory, but um, I just wanted to demonstrate that you you really dumb don't need to do anything special. We're just sticking them in the dirt. You don't need to pack it in there or, you know, um, you know, give it any fertilizer or anything or rooting hormone. Just cactus are really resilient. They'll do it all by themselves. So just um, plant it with enough dirt to where the plant stands up. Pack it down a little bit just so it does stand up. And you'll have a finished product that um, at that point, all you need to do is have patience. So something like this here is just a perfect little planting. Got to shimmy that soil down. But right there is what you're going for. Just enough to stand it up. And the rooting process out here in Phoenix, it takes like two, maybe three months to grow a bucket full of roots. But if you live somewhere colder, um, you know, it might take a little bit longer for you. These are cactus, so they, they do love the heat. And this, I'm going to demonstrate here how to do it with clippers on a smaller branch. Just make sure your clippers are very sharp so you don't, uh, like, smash it up. So right there you can see nice clean cut. You can also see a little aerial root on there. That's helpful. But this is another small small but very nice looking cutting. You can see that aerial root there right next to my thumb. So I'm going to take one more cutting because I want to demonstrate one other cool thing about um, a lot of these cactus that grow branches. So I get most of these cuttings from like old beat up haggard mother plants that are used for cuttings. This one has a lot of damage on it and you can see the plant kind of freaked out and grew extra branches but it also grew what's called aerial roots. If you have house plants you've probably seen stuff like that before on your um your house plants like growing along the vine of like a pothos or something. On cactus they'll do it on the bottom side of a branch. And so those aerial roots are already um, like viable roots. They will um, speed up this process. So just like I was saying earlier, I'm just going to lay this bad boy out. And four days from now, just like I demonstrated before, I'll plant them in a bucket. Just remember, the bottom is going to look like this when it's nice and dry and calloused. That's when it's ready to plant. If it's still wet and soft, it's not ready to plant. I just wanted to demonstrate too some of the monstrosities that I get these cuttings from. So don't throw away your cactus. They're very resilient even if it's half dead. You can probably turn it into a mother plant that you can cut cuttings off of. Almost all of these totem pole cuttings come from beat up old plants that I use as uh, cloning stock. And you can see lots of aerial roots on there. That one looks cool. And then you'll end up with something like this after two, three months. A nice, well-rooted, established plant you can share with friends or put it somewhere else in the yard. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on content, leave it in the comments. I'll make videos of whatever you guys need. 
Don't forget to visit my site, cactusuncle.com, for premium seed-grown cactus and rooted cuttings. Have a great one, guys.